Welcome to Good Mythical More. Do you like to drink soda? Yes. Do you like to put things in your soda? Yes. Do you like to put things in your soda and drink it with friends in your show after your show? Yes. We're going to be tasting some stuff I've never tasted in my sodas. But first, we're going to be... Uh, <laughs> this oh, goodness. <laughs> Rhett. Would you, like a little, would you like a business card? A little sleight of hand here, yeah. Would you like a business card? Yeah. It's paper. I'm saving money. Well, I want it. Maybe I should start doing this. I'll be like... Um, um, uh... Come on now. Uh, Come on. Uh, this is only for the f people over 44. Um, uh, uh, Fruit Loops. <laughs> Fruit Loops is the answer. Pretty good. It's not bad. It's not bad for just right, not bad. just out of the back pocket, Johnny Are you Carson. Ever gonna give the money away? Give the money away. Well, that would be gifticality, Ed McMahon. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, yes. <laughs> Merchicality <laughs> is when we give thirty dollars. I love when we do jokes that none of them get. Give the money away. Thirty dollars. Thirty dollars uh, to Punk for Chromatica. Yeah. Because you've been repping that merch out in the wild using oh. hashtag Merchicality to let us know that you're doing it, and we do. You know, we do. We find you and we reward you. Would you like a business card? Um. Um. Uh, yeah. Good. That's a good mythical evening T-shirt. Dollars. You rep merch. Uh, you get more merch. All right, so mm. let's bring in Najia from Spork. Hey, Najia's <laughs> coming <laughs> in. Um, she's written an article about the weird things you should try in your soda, and we, we, you know, hey, Hello. we just wanted to um, we wanted to get the DL on the S O D A soda inserts, the soda inserts. Okay, there's probably better All words right. for that. Soda mix-ins, said by some. Soda mix-ins. Soda mix-ins. Okay, yeah, that's a tasteful way to say it. So, okay. What is your research revealed? People are people are doing this. People, people, people so people are doing this. People uh, are doing this. People, huh? people are doing this. People are doing this. People are doing this. I'm gonna go. I'm going lower. You know what this? In solidarity. Wow. Now we're all the same height. Well, I just you know Let's we're so big. <laughs> we're so big. Fair. Well, I'll tell you what. There are people doing special special things in Utah with sodas. And they're adding things that I really want to try, such as syrups and coffee creamers. And I wish that it was happening in California, but the Mormons it's, have it on lock. The Mormons are doing it? The Mormons are doing it. Well, okay, but why? The Mormons are doing something I'm not? They are indeed. Well, let's put a stop to that. <laughs> I mean, there are certain things that they have to adhere to, such as not consuming alcohol and staying away from caffeine and things like that. And there have to be other ways to kind of spice up their soda intake. Oh, okay. Oh, so you're saying by limiting certain things, it gives them the intipus, intipus or the impetus to innovate the with soda. Well, correct me if I'm wrong. I think intipus? they specifically, they specifically can't have coffee. Don't and give a Mormon tea. an intipus. Cold, cold caffeine is okay. So, like, instead of coffee shops, they have these soda shops. You guys haven't seen this on TikTok? It's, like, a big thing. They have these soda shops. That's not with, my TikTok. With, yeah. With, Maybe um, it should be, though. Like, these long drive through lines and all these different, like, soda conco concoctions and, like, these big, like, like big gulp type of things with, like, multiple different energy soda drinks. Soda concoction? And, like, creamer. And, and an like, intipus? It's a whole thing. They're like consuming so much soda on a regular daily interesting, basis. Interesting, interesting. Yeah. Fruit Loops. Now, is this called soaking? <laughs> soaking. Uh, Should I just never say that? I know when he uses that tone of voice, he's talking about something we shouldn't know about. Got it. Can we taste something? Where should we start? Well, is it so? These are all Mormon things, or these are other no, things? Not all of them. I think no. the Mormons are taking the lead in the innovative nature of soda expression. So, how did you get these that we're going to taste? Starting, what, what are we starting with? Well, we're going to start with what we have right here. It looks like um, well, one of the suggestions. In. Let's from see. Our Brett? ethical crew. I think that the okay. first one, that one should be Diet Coke. Oh, we over there. with half and half and coconut syrup, which uh, is a mm. is one of the Mormon classics, as we all know, uh, to kick it off. So you guys can see what you're Dang. missing out on. Can what? I have one? This is absolutely. What, what is this? Well, uh, it's called a dirty diet coke. A dirty diet coke. Indeed. It looks. 
It looks nasty. Coconut syrup and creamer? Yes. It's coagulated. I think that's what happens when you put creamer in Coke. Yours looks different than mine. It feels like maybe mine is very fresh and new, uh, but yours perhaps sat for a moment. Yep, right. Well, you know what? You take the good one. Thank you. That tastes like a drink (laughs) that should have alcohol in it, but it doesn't. No, it tastes like it tastes like sunscreen in my Coke. Oh, see, now you said it, and I can't untaste it. Well, every once in a while, if I'm spraying myself with sunscreen, I'll just open my mouth and let it just fly in. You shouldn't do that. I don't recommend it. I'm just saying, every once in a while, if it does, I'm like, it's not bad. Did you and good? Did you did you recommend this to people? Because I can't in good conscience do that. Well, it's not so much a recommendation as it is dare. A I dare you. Brave enough. You're just a you're, you're documenting what's going on out in the world and letting people know. I can't believe people do this. They do it, and they do other things as well. <laughs> okay. Um, they meaning people that we work with. So mm. there are other Those sources. Things? Don't get me started on the people we work with. Well, so, so, to, to to pause for a second. Speaking about the people that we uh, work with, in honor of today's big milestone episode, uh, we got every 22-year-old on the crew together to film a very special congratulations Because of the 2200 episodes. Really? Do you get it? Well, I mean, could we see it? Yeah. Yo, Rhett and Link, congrats on 2200 episodes. So Chase told me this video is supposed to be 22 minutes long, but apparently I'm the only 22 year old on the crew. So I'm gonna wing it, but no worries. I have so much to talk about. Some might say too much, but I know you guys would never. Anyways, did you guys know that 22 is a hit song? By Maybe Taylor we could just slowly fade him out. Red. I couldn't believe I hadn't heard it till my grandparents made just it. Just a slow a fade. A just a slow fade. I don't know, fade. it looked more like a cool earring to me. Yeah, uh, yeah. Is and we'll just, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That way he won't feel it. You know what I'm saying? If we do it slowly, he doesn't know he just got turned down. And also faded out. Is he really gonna go for 22 minutes? I hope so. Oh, uh, okay. Oh. I think they oh, just... They, oh, they made him stop. They just blasted him. They made him stop with confetti. <laughs> hey, thank you for that. He's the only 22-year-old who works here. Yeah, yeah. That is. I think that was All right, joke. what's the next one? It's you, you were saying this is from a crew member. Yes. Is so, it? this one is actually a suggestion from Michaela. Michaela! Yes. I just like saying her name. It is pineapple Fanta mixed with watermelon Sour Patch Kids. Oh my! I like how they're stacked up. (laughs) That smells incredible. Wow. First of all, pineapple Fanta. Sheesh. Oh, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's good. If I was 22, I'd be like, sheesh. (laughs) But I'm not. How do you get to the... How do you fish those out? I think you gotta want it bad enough. Yeah. Oh gosh, I want it. I don't want it that bad. They hadn't well. invented soaking when I was twenty-two. The whole. I legitimately don't know. I would have been doing it. What you're talking about, but because it's a loophole. It's you and me both. <sighs> Can we get? Oh yeah, give us something to suck this thing out. Because I want to taste it, but I, if I drink all of this, then I can't really. Okay. Oh, he's going spoon. Just. It's just some kind of joke. Thank you. Yeah. What kind of joke was that, KG? Yeah, I'll give you the bigger one. Look at that. Look at what KG did to me, man. <laughs> okay, I got one. You got one. I gotta catch it. Oh, no, no, I've done it! <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. Once you get that in your mouth. Oh, you're right. The fork would work better. Oh, Link, what was your strat? I'm having a hard I, time. I skewered it. Oh, okay. I was gonna suck it. Mm-hmm. And then I just skewered it. Damn. That's good. It's How great. much of the watermelon Sour Patch Kid is getting into the pineapple soda taste? A lot? The more we wait, the longer, the more gets in. It definitely tastes like it's got a hint of, of uh, watermelon. Interesting. Yeah, I like it. It's like if this was That's... LaCroix, Whew. but replace the water part of LaCroix with pineapple Fanta. You know what I'm saying? It's got that much watermelon in it. Okay. Mm. It was a complicated way to say it, but I understand what you're saying. It's like somebody threw a watermelon. Michaela, that is a lot of sugar. caught it. 
Yeah, and I then want you it. Threw it back, and then you smelled your hand. That much watermelon. Yeah, a watermelon yeah. that was unpeeled. I mean, I definitely can't finish this sugar rush. No, no, no. All right, on to the next. I'm gonna give that a good uh, an A. Much better than the other one. Okay. So. What are we gonna taste next? The next one is actually a recommendation from my mom. Your mom? My mom. Your mom's making wrecks these days? So what is this? It is a... Coke? Sort of. It's a very astute nose you have there. Um, it's a mix of Coke and squirt, and it's topped with a little dash of salt. And she calls this a summer soda. A summer soda? Coke mm -hmm. squirt You saw her doing salt. this? Oh, absolutely. A dash of salt. A dash of salt. A pinch. Huh. A dash of salt with squirt and Coke. 50, 50, half and half, you said? Three to one. Oh, three to one. Three to one squirt to Coke? Indeed. The salt is so interesting. <laughs> because you can't taste the salt. Is that kosher the, salt? You Can not taste have some? <laughs> you I'm can't sure taste the salt. Things. It's more like um, you feel it. Yeah, it's a sensation, not a taste sensation. It l doesn't look good at all. No, no, no. But it does taste good. Do you like it? Absolutely. What's I your mean, mom's name? My mom's name is Tony. 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 Mm -hmm. What other kinds of stuff is Tony mixing? Well, she's mixing chips and conversation. Oh, really? Yep, but that's to get it to stop. Okay. <laughs> right. So when you're having a conversation with your mom, she starts eating chips to let you know the conversation's over. Mm -hmm. I am out. Okay, I'm going into the bag now. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like this one. She calls it a summer soda. Mm -hmm. Only drinks it in the summer. Did you yeah, have this growing up? No, mm. I didn't. Actually only found out about it as an adult. Oh, she was doing it in secret. It was, yeah. Like, now that you're at sport, I guess I'll tell you about my summer soda. Or did she did she leave for the summer? No, there's like a whole side of her that's coming out now. Oh wow. That's what happens. That's what happens when, when, when they... You become an adult. Yeah, they start. You, you relate to your parents as adults. They're like, we don't have to be responsible anymore. No one's watching. Exactly. They start can putting mix. sodas in their squirt and... A, a dash of salt. A dash of salt. Mm -hmm. I, I like that one. It doesn't beat Michaela's, but um, it's a close second. That's fair. Where are we headed next? All right, we're heading south. Uh, oh, we know about this one. Yep. We know about this one. What are, what are our Peanuts thoughts? in Coke... Now, this was a, th I always, Ooh. see, I didn't know in, until or RC later Cola. you told me about this, but I was, always thought this was a Georgia thing, but you were up there and doing it in North Carolina, so yeah, I yeah, think yeah. it's just a southern thing. Yeah, we would because buy. Because my grandparents and my aunts and uncles would do this. Which crew members submitted this? It was Caleb. Where's Caleb from? The merch department. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know that he works here. Oh. Najia. I'm saying like. What state is what he from? What state is he from? Oh. You know, I didn't think Caleb was from the South. I don't think he is. Where's he from? Hawaii. Well, Hawaii, pretty far south. Um, <laughs> yeah, because we would pop a cap on a uh, uh, a glass bottle of Coke, and then you would take the peanuts and you would just put them down in the bottom, and it was just like a nice little treat. I don't remember them floating. I actually. was gonna say, do they always do that? I thought they sunk. I think they float until they sink. Mm. Maybe it's because... Mm. No, it takes a while, man. I think, they, I think I, they always floated for me. I guess if you just let it sit overnight. And the interesting thing is that your mom just taught us about was that the salt from the peanuts is, an, is a nice addition to a soda experience. Well, the salt and the sweet. Salt and sweet, man. You get that salted dark chocolate? You can lure me anywhere with a square of that stuff. How, how are you talking about chocolate all of a sudden? Because the salt and the sweet. I'm saying the salt. So the sweet is the Coke. Coke. But there's peanut. And the salt. This, the salt comes from the peanut. And the sweet and the comes, sweet comes from, from the Coke. So I yeah. said the salt and the sweet combination, it's like salted chocolate. Okay. I think most people understood what I, what I was saying. Um, really? Raise your hand if you knew what I was saying. Okay. Raise your hand if you knew why he was saying it. Yeah, yeah. See? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, I, got, I got mostly raised hands. But what about the peanut part? Uh, the peanut part, I mean, I like that too. I like peanuts in my chocolate as well. <laughs> Ever had a Mr. Good Bar? Let's talk about that for a while. Uh, you ever had a salted Mr. Good Bar? Nope. Do you like this? You know, I like it, but not enough to finish it, I'm going to be honest. I don't, I don't, I don't love it. Um, 
I like having a little peanut surprise with anything, but it does the drink from a drink standpoint is not. It's I not think nice. there's too many peanuts in here. That's fair. To because say. I think that you're supposed to be eating peanuts with your Coke and then like, oh, got a little sloppy, one dropped in. Not a problem. But this is all this is like I got a little too intentional about it. I think we've been going pretty mild across the board so far. So what we did is we know when we're going too mild, we got to ask the mythical beast for for some help, for some suggestions. Oh. So we went outside the crew. We went outside the Mormons. I mean, I don't know the particular affiliations of these crew members, but we asked or uh, mythical beast. But we asked mythical beast for their soda edition suggestions. Let's take a look at the first one. I bet it's jalapeno on. Uh, Sprite, yet yeah. pickled on Sprite. Joff, not Ray. Pickled jalapenos go well with a Sprite for me. The spice, and then followed by the soda, gave a cool buzz. I'm very interested in this because I love pickled jalapenos. We're getting buzzed on Same. soda. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I think he wants us to eat one. Ho 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 ho! Whoa! I nearly choked. That is revolutionary. I wasn't expecting there to be that much spice going on. I know. It's like it it filters through. Wow. If it, it's like whatever first of all, mine's cloudier than yours. I got more pickle juice in there. Yep, yours is um yours is spicy. Mine's like a yours is also spicier. Mine's yeah. fresher. Okay. Um it's weird because in the end you're just left with sprite and a spice. You're not a spicy sprite. Because the first taste is not good. That first sip was like a kick in the mouth. It's you, not good. I bet you LeBron would be into this. But then the experience is is something um, is something to do. It really is. I think you should try it. This just reminds me that I need to have pickle jalapenos back in the fridge. Like they, I'm the only one in the house who likes them. They, and we run out, and then I just forget to think about them again until like pickle, pickle. eighteen months will pass. I'll be like, oh yeah, that's the thing that you like. Is this like a potential tequila mezcal edition situation? That's oh, what I Stevie, know. stop it! Excuse yes. me. Yes. <clears throat> okay. I think I, I think some mezcal and to just throw some jalapenos in some mezcal, and then something else. Oh no, sprite! I know y'all like mezcal. Yeah, y'all can and, like and it. And the sprite. Yeah. Oh, okay. Y'all can like it. So right. it doesn't pass for you. Yeah, no, I'm, good. I'm, I'm a think big it, fan. If you like spicy stuff, I think you'll like it. And then what do we have here? Drag it in. All right, well, I tell y'all. It's opaque. Let's see the next tweet. Laney said, when I was really little, I used to dip my pizza in Coke. Okay, so this is just... If we had them together. Then May said, I did that too. And then Laney said, it was like a staple of childhood parties, I feel. I went to a lot of parties as a child, and I don't... Okay, everybody grab your... Dip it in your Coke. Are we soaking? (laughs) This is... I told you not this. This is definitely soaking. (laughs) Comes full circle. That's good. It tastes like childhood. You did this as a kid? Absolutely not. My mom wouldn't let me do something like that. Right. Your mom wouldn't let you do stuff? And then she's over there sprinkling salt when you're not looking. Exactly. (laughs) Well, after she left. Um, I just don't. It made the pizza worse. It didn't help the pizza. I never, ever did... I mean, this. listen. It I'm, also made the coat worse. I was a, I wasn't a smart kid, but I, I wasn't know. this stupid. I get the fries into a milkshake situation, fries into a frosty it's type just, of thing, but pizza into Coke it doesn't work. D- yeah, that's there's a, nothing complimentary happening. I think that if you were to try this again, Laney, you would know that this was a, something that happened in your little immature mouth <laughs> when you were when you were a kid, right? Dumb immature yeah, children, yeah, yeah. Get, get that out of here. Done. Move on. I'm all right, one more. This is our final Stop one. Stop soaking your pizza <coughs> in your Coke. And we want to invite you to go over to Sporked where you can see, we're, we're making discoveries here. There's discoveries that are being made over there like Najee's article, which would tell you about the jalapenos and the Sprite. Actually, that was uh, that, that was fantastic. that was user submitted. Maybe you should add that. Maybe I should. You we know? revise articles sometimes. Yeah, you could do that. Yeah, anything's yeah. possible yeah. with the internet. Have you ever written an apology article? <gasps> Not yet. We okay. should, you, we, you know what? We should go ahead and have one ready to go. Yeah, let's just have one ready just to go. Just on the docket. Yeah. 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 We're on the internet. So let's taste this one more here. What's this? Undead good hero. Best thing I ever did was mix squeezed cheese into my root beer. The creaminess is unmatched. 
Well, I feel like you got to start with the root beer and then do the, the cheese on top like a float. Unless we, you know what? Some you, Najina, you start with the cheese. Okay. I'll start with the root beer, just so we have two, two ends of the. And I'm gonna do both spectrum. at the same time. Well, I got a cheese plug over here, so I'm gonna. Yeah, you gotta get, you gotta rid of get that. that out of Get the that way. to the dog. That's what I always do. The cheese plug. Barbie gets the cheese plug. Give that, that to right the dog. There. Okay. How much cheese are we? Are we just say when? Mm, yeah. Yeah, I mean, okay. I feel like, oh, I feel, back. oh, look at what you did! Look, that is amazing, Link. Look at the way that looks. It's brain. Isn't that crazy? It's got brain things happen. That is crazy looking, and it's fl it's coming to the top. Oh, look, the same thing happens too. It's wild. Look at that. Thank you. It's an endless look at endless loop, endless loop, endless loop. And I'm oh wow. And I'm sorry, Nigia, but I think we learned from your experiment that. We you, you did it. You, we shouldn't do it your way. You did it. Oh, wrong. <laughs> okay, fair. Like I did it I at the same need time. I think we some mixage after this initial oh. sip as well, because they do say the creaminess is unmatched, yeah, yeah. which I would think would need to be a mixed situation. Yeah, that Choose just tastes like root beer because the easy cheese has stayed completely intact. There we go. I'm gonna grab this now one. it doesn't matter, but that's like a what you did and what I kind of did. It's kind of like a fun thing that Bart. a bartender could do. I feel like they'd have their license revoked for something like this. Yeah, this is like you do it on your last day as a bartender. Yeah. Going out with a bang, bring me the easy cheese. Uh, what was your strat for mixing it? I'm over here. We got some coags happening. Oh. You gotta really dink it. Okay. Dink it, dink it, dink it, dink it, dink it, dink it, dink it. All right, dink, I'm going there for a creamy sip. Okay, they've mixed. They've mixed. It's not, I don't like root beer, but it's not bad. I feel well, like it's stuck let on Let me go in lips. with an open mind. I think it's an improvement on root beer. If you don't like root beer, you'll like this better. I just never thought I'd see myself drinking cheese. It doesn't taste <laughs> yeah. like cheese, though. I like cheese and root beer. I don't like cheese and root beer. You know what I'm saying? I, I like cheese or root beer. That's I wonder fair. if That's Undead fair. Good Hero is just making this up. Uh, that certainly sounds like a joker. The creaminess is unmatched. I mean, it is pretty creamy. If you put it in a blender, maybe? And then it becomes its own new substance. You know, on the second thought, Najee, I don't know if you need to add these to your article. Okay, I'll All just right. hold on I to it. I think the article is, is just great as is. What chips are you bringing to barbecues this year? Well, go to Spork.com to read our roundup of nine chips that should be mandatory at every outdoor gathering. 